Hi and welcome back to Jacksonville, Florida 360. My name is Sonetta Spicer. I am a Jacksonville, Florida native and licensed real estate agent here in the greater Jacksonville, Florida area. So today we will be talking about first time home buyer program, but more specifically the Florida Hometown Heroes program. So the HEROES program is offering up to 5% towards your down payment or closing costs or a combination of both. There are certain requirements that you will need to fulfill in order to qualify for this program. So the first thing you want to look at is your credit score across all three credit bureaus such as Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Another thing is make sure that you are working full time. That's the only way you'll really qualify is through full time employment. Another thing is that you have to have at least two years of work history or a combination of college and one year of work history in that field. Also, if this is a program that you really want to get pre-approved for, know that there's only specific lenders or loan officers that offer this program. So not every bank or institution will offer the Florida Hometown Heroes program to you. How do you qualify for the Florida Hometown Heroes? Well, first, you must be in a specific profession, such as a teacher, medical, to include massage therapists, first responders, military, military veterans. These are the professions that fall under the Hometown Heroes program. Now, if you want a list of all of the different occupations under this this program, please make sure to put that in the comment section and I will definitely send you a list of all the professionals who fall under those categories. This program also does have an income cap, so make sure to speak to your loan officer to make sure that you fall within the income requirements. Also keep in mind that the funds are limited, so once the money runs out, then you have to wait or you may want to consider another program. So initially started out with 100 million and the last time I checked it was about 50 or less than 50 million remaining so make sure that if this is something that you're really interested in and you meet the requirements make sure to reach out to a loan officer or even an agent that will help you with gathering the documents and things that you need in order to provide it to the loan officer also when you receive the fund just know that it is capped at 5% towards your down payment and closing costs up to $25,000 now, that $25,000 is considered a zero interest second mortgage and it's deferred for 30 years or when you sell the property. So be cautious about the amount of money that you accept from the program because it has to be paid back and put back into the funds so that other people can also benefit from the program. Keep in mind with the amount of money that you accept for this program because if you decide in three years to sell your home, you have to make sure that you have enough equity in the house to not only pay those funds back but also that you will not have to come to closing paying that money back make sure that the money set for this program you're confident enough the house that you're moving in will build up enough equity by the time you get ready to sell now if you're trying to keep the house long term then you will definitely benefit from this program ultimately you have to decide if it's good for you or if there's other programs out there that you want to consider in addition to to this to decide which one that you want to go with or like I always say save as much as possible so that you will not have to worry about paying this money back so keep in mind the amount of money that you accept for the program so if you go all the way up to that 25,000 just know that that 25,000 will have to be paid back now if you want to use this program and you're not sure if you want to stay in the house more than five years then it may not be beneficial for you to even use this program because you have to make sure you have at least enough equity in the home when you go to sale that you will have enough to pay back. So there are several other first-time home buyer programs out there, but keep in mind, most of them across the board require you to have at least a 640 credit score. You would still have to provide the same type of documents
documents as we discussed at the very beginning and you will have to take a home buyer workshop or class that's about four to eight hours I believe and you can take them either online or you can go in in person and your loan officer will provide that information of where you can go or give you a link to that online course that concludes the hometown heroes program if you want more information when it comes to the different occupations that qualify please put that comment below and I will definitely send you a link to the professionals that qualify for the program. If you want more content regarding real estate or things to do in the Jacksonville area, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.